Yo, what's good, e girls? Today, I'm gonna be using Replay Cinema on the Hive to secretly spectate some of the funniest hackers in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I've done this video like three or four times already, and you guys always love it, so here it is again. So this person right here is very obviously a cheater. They instantly put on all that armor, and they're digging multiple blocks at one time. I'm not necessarily sure how this is possible, but somebody found a way. It looks as though they're gonna Andromeda Bridge to middle, but this person came to their island, and I think they're gonna go try to kill them. Yeah, so they're using B-Hop cheats to kill this fella. He stood no chance. All right, now they're gonna build to middle very, very, very slowly. So this person decides they wanna attack the hacker and they stand no chance against the hacker, but he uses a pearl to clutch on the side of the island. Meanwhile, the hacker bridges to middle, but they do it upside down. I mean, they might be from Australia. So the cheater goes to fight this dude and gets stabbed by another guy at the same time. This is currently a 2v1 and the cheater is still winning. The third guy's just standing all alone. I don't know what he's doing. The hacker is absolutely comboing this random. Our friend here is back to clutching and he failed. Alright, and here we go again with the upside down bridging, but they don't get away with it this time because the hacker gets banned. This dude was hacking and he still lost. Explain to me, how do you manage to cheat and still lose? If you think this guy was funny, I promise you, you won't want to miss the next hacker. Excuse me, did I say hacker? I mean hackers, as in there's two of them. Let's see if these two hackers can win a game of Hive's Bridge. But really quick before I continue, YouTube cares about something called viewer satisfaction now. So if you could drop a like and leave a comment vaguely related to this video's topic, I would really appreciate it. All right, back to the video. All right, and the hacker's team drops down, they bump into a wall. How did you manage? to do that and this is the protagonist team which means that they're the good guys all right this dude right here is looking to get the first goal of the match but can the hacker defend his own goal Yes, he can. All right, both the hackers have respawned. This guy's going for a goal, and he's in. He gets the goal. So the hackers are using a cheat called no knockback, which means they don't move when you punch them. Yeah, they're basically unkillable at this point. Okay, they're both looking to score another goal here, and they do. That goal means that it is two to zero, and the hackers are in the lead. And the hackers only need to score one more point before they win this match. But wait a minute, our protagonist might get a point here. And no, he dies. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Look, okay, this one hacker right here can god bridge. Look at that scaffold right there. And there's pretty much nothing you can do at this point. Yup, the hackers win the game. This is kind of unfortunate. I really wanted the protagonist to win. But the real question is, can this hacker win a game of treasure wars? So this dude has to fight the hacker first, and based on how they're bridging, I think they're on a phone. The hacker is too busy in the shop to see that they're getting rushed, and they're gonna lose their treasure. But the hacker's just gonna run away and leave their problems behind them until they get anti-cheated. Dude, so many Hive hackers are getting anti-cheated these days, it's actually great to see. Now it's time to spectate a hacker in Treasure Wars Mega. And this guy right here is the cheater. So he's gonna pull off a real quick god bridge for us, and now he's gonna wait for his teammates to build a bridge. Now the hacker is gonna help their team take out this minion treasure. The hacker is gonna do some reverse icy bridging. Yup, definitely not cheating. The hacker is killed and has to respawn back at their base. <laughs> Look at this hacker. He can't help but flex his skills. And I mean like flex them a lot. Like he won't stop. The hacker is gonna go over here and try to destroy the treasure again, but I'm here in full arm. Uh, yeah, I die to the hacker here, don't I? That's unfortunate. The hacker upgrades his armor to iron and then goes to kill this guy who has diamond armor. And just take a look at this guy's scaffold hack, bro. Look at this guy go. The hacker's gonna go aggro after the diamond armor dude. And he gets, no, he clutches. Wait a minute. And the hacker just doesn't give up. They really wanna kill this dude. So I start destroying the hacker's treasure, but the hacker sees me and comes to kill me. And there's nothing much I can do. The guy's hitting me through walls. And while the hacker is scaffolding up here, he wins the game. This guy couldn't stop scaffolding. There are blocks everywhere. Now in the next game this person on fire is a hacker if you still think they're innocent just watch this yeah they destroyed the treasure through blocks now the hacker just has to kill three people and this goofy goober is going to try to kill the hacker but the hacker clutches on the bridge later on in the game the goofy goober beats the hacker again all he has to do is stall a little bit longer to win but the hacker's team kills him i guess there's not much you can do when you have to fight four people at once and for all the real ones out there pray